Hey there, welcome back. My name's Lisa, and as always, I'm super glad you're here today. So what are we doing today? Today we're gonna to stuff my cash wallet. This is the second week of our pay period, and um, typically just two little things get stuffed here. And I'm also going to go over my sinking funds. I'm gonna stuff the cash side of those. So let's get started. Hope y'all are doing great today. I'm still battling this cold. It's lingering and I just so happy that it's here. Not really. All right, so groceries typically gets 120 a week. I can't put it all in there because I will spend it all. So I had 20 left over. I'm gonna put that in my rollover, which is growing. This is the grocery part of the rollover that I haven't spent. Um, we've been, um, I haven't felt like shopping a whole lot. I've been kind of just hanging out at the house. So that will give us 20, 40, 60, 70 in extra grocery money if I think we need it. Just been, um, I've stockpiled a few things, so we've been eating, eating at home a lot. So, and this 20 is extra gas money. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. That was from last paycheck. I think I'm just gonna hang on to it let them sit this way and maybe that will go over to my automotive fund when i get a significant amount you know like 50 or 60 dollars i haven't decided but that's fine it's safe there fingers crossed so we're going to put the 120 in groceries and that should last this week and household which i think i'm going to change this category next month i'm really on the fence about it um, I'm going to change it to toiletries because I think we spend more on that and I will just incorporate the paper goods into grocery. Um, be, toiletries to include vitamins and supplements. My husband likes to buy those and I do too once in a while and I, I don't really have an envelope for it or a budget for it so there's a balance in that. I don't know. What do you guys do? Do you have just a separate category for supplements and or to toilet? can't say it but you know what it is toiletries there I'm not really sure but you know budgets my budget's always in flux just kind of just does not does what it wants but I'm always having to make adjustments and changes and this is the cash wallet that I keep in my purse and um, in case you don't know these are the other categories I have grocery house households so it could be toiletries probably pets uh, gas this is my gas money and I haven't gone anywhere. I think I still have the 60 I put in from last time. Yeah, it's been a slow week for me driving. I don't go, I just, I'm, hope, I'm hoping next week will be better. Eating out, we've done okay. We haven't eaten out a lot, fun. I did pick up my granddaughter yesterday from school, um, from the school bus, and I took her out to eat at Chick-fil-A and then took her to gymnastics. So, you know, I have a little bit left of that. Oh, yeah, let me, you know, see, I shouldn't open it up because now I'm going to have to straighten it. Hold on. Um, we spent like $12 for two fries and she had to have orange juice. The, the counter guy was like, what? I go, just orange juice. And, you know, I said, well, go ahead and give your name. And she did. But she gave her middle name. And I'm like, what? She goes, I just wanted to see what it sounded like. Okay. She's, a, she's so funny. 20, 30, 40, 50. 60, 65, 70, 75, 71. I'm gonna put that one over for my alphabet uh, bucks challenge. I'm gonna take it out. That's where a lot of my singles have been going is for the alphabet dollar challenge. Date night, we're just saving that. There's still many there. Hobbies, that's when I feed the crows. I did get crow, crow food yesterday. I was out a little bit yesterday, but did me in and my rollover. All right, so enough of that. Let's move on to my cash stuffing sinking funds and th these are things I pay cash for I like to keep a little cash on hand I've moved the rest of my sinking funds to digital because the money comes in and then I just push it over to uh, that comes into my bank my Chase Bank and then I just push it over to my high yield savings accounts over at Capital One <sighs> It seems like a lot of work and it might be, but I just need to have everything categorized. So for now that's working. What is this, April? So yeah, for four months, it's okay. So for beauty, I will give myself $60, 20, 40, 60. 
Um, this is for haircut and highlights. And um, that is just, I've kind of missed, missed a few things. Um, well, that's fine. I'm trying to catch up, so that should be 300. I'm not sure if that's 300, let's see. 20, 40, 60, 81. Oh, it is 300. Well, surprise, surprise. That's a big surprise. That's good. I do have to get um, a highlight here in a month or two, and that's like $150. Yes, I'm worth it. It's okay. Miscellaneous. I borrowed this idea, I think, from Katie of the house. Yes, see? Had to think. And I usually put 15 in. And I was up to 45, then I took out 30 for Easter. I, I took out a lot of money for Easter, but I think we'll put in 20. And that'll give us 35. Is there a better pen over here? Lord. 20, and that'll be 35. There we go. That's better. So that is just, if I need it, you know, a little bit of cash on hand for like Easter, I, had to, I decided to give the kids money. My grandkids and our neighbor boy, I gave them each $10. They had to find all these eggs. And that was fun. Birthday, I need to catch up on birthday. Um, I typically give that, uh, let's see, 15, but I'm gonna give it 40 to get it caught up because I've missed weeks. And that'll be 160 in cash right there and that should be three the bank has 215 I think I haven't checked it lately look at me being responsible ha huh. so the 40 that should be 375 well, let's see 20 40 60 81 20 40 oh it's not oh god no I just have to have 160 in cash here uh -huh. 20 40 60, 81, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Because I do keep some in the bank, uh, the 215, in case I want to uh, Venmo, a birthday present to one of my grown children, because they can't ever decide what they want. Sometimes cash is just a better option. But I like to keep it on hand too, because there's some kids or grandkids that like money in their envelopes. So we'll do that. And that should be it, I think, for, well, I'll probably stuff this one more time at the end of the month. And gifts doesn't have anything, I'm just, um, I put that there because some of my smaller savings challenge, mini challenges will fill up and then I'll have a place to put it. All right, so sinking funds. I have a wide array of sinking funds, as you can see. And you're probably, if you've been here before, you probably know these taxes. Home care, car care, medical, there's quite a few. But I keep all of these in um, accounts at Capital One, 360. My checking and multiple savings accounts, it does seem like a lot, but it works for me. So what has changed, and it has been a, a change, is that um, when I was getting my retirement pay from my uh, personal retirement account, I used to get a certain amount every week. And that wasn't a problem for almost two years. So that was good. But I get this email, they're like, hey, Miss Lisa, we're gonna have to change it up. You'll have to do a payout once a month or twice a month, like bi-monthly. Man, I'm a creature of habit. I like things just so. So we did, I said, okay, bi-monthly, we'll do it the 15th and the 28th for that particular retirement account. <sighs> well, they sent it, but it was, the wrong amount and they were basing it on the net of the f payout weekly it really got confusing I got some money but I didn't get all the money where it was back and forth I'm like gosh Darren that's my advisor there uh, please check my math uh, who screwed up oh you did okay so they're gonna fix it and anyway the check came, the, the money came into the bank on the 15th. I moved it over to Capital One and I, I distributed what they gave me. Not all of it because they didn't get all of it. So whatever. So I'm just going to go over this and this is my beginning balance is 1459 
and at the end of the month I will have an ending balance it'll be closer to zero because I do have to pay my homeowner taxes nope homeowners insurance and that'll be like sixteen hundred dollars so and home care will be 338 now remember this is over at Capital One car care is 557 I just rounded up got rid of the cents medical which is a struggle to keep full because of our appointments you know when you're mature you get to go to the doctor a lot you like the gynecologist and the dermatologist and the ophthalmologist we're keeping them in business so they're always happy to see us annual subscriptions is up to 84 clothes I did take some money out we went to Walmart we went shopping we went together and um, we got what we thought we needed I might have to take something back travel is steady at 767 one day I'm going to divide that up into its own envelope but probably not now pet emergency is for 446 Christmas is up to 415 birthday 217 see I keep some on hand um, in the uh, in my envelopes and then I send some over to uh, Capital One I have a five thousand dollar challenge I've started but I only have like two hundred dollars here on hand um, when I get five hundred I'll move it over the same for estate planning I have five dollars in there it's big money but as that grows when I get a substantial amount like five hundred dollars I'll move it over my new electronics I have 806 I'm saving up for that iPhone that new handy dandy fancy I want the one with all the memory because I take a lot of pictures iPhone so we'll see how that goes uh, the hurricane fund if you know if you've been here a little bit you know that's completely funded I was shooting for $500 that's because we live in Florida hurricane season is from June 1st to September 30th things could go wrong we might need to get extra I don't know you know uh, we do have a whole house generator and that basically I'm hoping would cover if we had to run that for a significant amount of time that would cover the uh, the gas for that and that's it and I don't have a total because I, I just don't have a total but there you go so that is what is at Capital One right now and on the 28th I will go ahead and do the ending totals because I'm going to add some money to some of these categories mostly this one and then I'm going to use um, you know because April is a bonus month for us we get three page well my husband gets three paychecks I just get two now <laughs> um, so we're just going to use if we have any extra and I think we should have at least 500 extra and I will fluff up some of these long-term savings challenges like the five thousand dollar challenge estate planning pet emergency and Christmas those things I just would like to get done and out of the way and then when they're done I can just funnel all that into the $5,000 challenge yeah so that's it this whole changing the dates of the payout because the, the amount is different that really and, and I'm kind of sick and under the influence of Dayquil it's just been a and I'm not math motivated math is not my thing I can write like crazy but math is not it I really have to work at it anyway I think we got it nailed down so May will be a little different when I do stuff my sinking funds and that's fine we will just make the rest of it work all right I appreciate you guys watching that was a long explanation right yeah and I will see you guys on the next video so have a good rest of your day and have a super duper weekend and I will see you on Monday for savings challenge Monday <laughs> Bye.